Need something sharpened? Reforged? What do you have on offer? So long. of a Garcane or a Flutter. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Ah! Can't polish a turd. Ah! Oh! Ah! Seems like it had lost some strength with sneaking along the shoreline. Ah! Oh! Ah! Now! 
Drax and Deer. Ought to look for Prince on the other side. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor and get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Keridin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Caradin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Caradin? 
Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! This guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah. See you later. Look awfully suspicious to me, Trap. What's going on there? High time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, you fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill him. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. As far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, 
Some of the Duke's courtiers had designs, weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden, murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Carradine? The assassin's leader, and the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy, just your help. We have to talk to Vien. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vien. What do you want? We want to see Yad Carradin. <laughs> Why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Caradin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund, but they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresicle, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. Well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. This, Salise. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigor, the kind rich men frequent. Or suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Salise always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Carradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Carradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solis. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you...
No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige, try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Solis. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. 
We have come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming Mahomes history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the park. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Stuff. A doll. The drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one.
way! Leave it! Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, Trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah. Novigrad's no place for a godling, but if you want to live here, that's your business, so let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that, and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up.
Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently, though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Ones, economically. Oh, that's bad luck. Sod off. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Maybe later. dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. 
We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal, 
Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri.
I point can I'll never come back, you stinking scadges! All we wanted was... Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth! Gear out in the nick of time, as always! Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Mistake. Yeah, almost like we never left Kurgan. Ah, oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lager standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale? What do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bombs. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Huh. That's the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letnov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name.
Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Looking to make some coin too, hey? Come on, I'm nothing. Lice it, you, you mangy dwarf! Oh, let it go, Jarrett. Come on, we need another place to hunker down the Nyans. Maybe all.